I live in Jefferson County, West Virginia, in a little town called Shepherdstown. I love my region because it is rural and it is very pretty. It's mountainous and it has nature, yet it's still close enough to the city that you can have the city any day you want. Yeah, I teach school, physical education, K through five. I do like the uh, somewhat unpredictable nature of it, where every class is going to be slightly different, even if you're teaching the same thing. Well, in terms of lifestyle, just the time off to travel, uh, a couple times during summer break, usually during spring break, and then either Thanksgiving or Christmas, it alternates. So I go away to another country usually four times a year. One of my friends is from Bolivia, and she and her family always talk it up and say, I need to go there. There's some really old uh, ruins that I always see on that show, Ancient Aliens, which is probably 100% true, by the way. And there's also a huge expanse of salt flat. That's the biggest one in the world that the pictures just look amazing there. Well, I drove my van down here. It's a 1994 Plymouth Voyager. I had it painted as a zebra for the longest time. It was considered the eyesore of my neighborhood. This past year, I decided to change it and give it like a retro look, then redo the inside by covering up the old carpet with a wood floor, putting down a trifold bed that can fold into a chair, then out to a bed. So it's real simple and bare bones, but it works to just stay a weekend somewhere if I don't feel like a hotel. Last night was 15 degrees outside and I did not freeze to death, and I was not awfully uncomfortable. I had to stay under the blankets, but car camping in the winter is doable. Oh, absolutely. All kinds of travel companions over the years. The girl that I am in a relationship with now, I met her in Peru about four years ago. She was on the same day tour as I was in the Sacred Valley outside of Cusco, and we became friends that day. Fast forward a few years later, we met up again when she came to D.C., and then we decided after that to take a trip to the Philippines together. And she invited me to meet her family and come to South Korea where she lives and show me the foods and the culture there. So that is probably, I have to say, that's the best experience with a travel companion I've ever had. I think that it'd be really tough if all your friends and family members were only there for each other during the good times and only for, there for each other when it was convenient. And then when things start to get a little bit tougher and convenient, people just kind of went their own way. I think it'd be a sad, sad day for a lot of people. 